If you're looking to set up a kiosk-style environment on Windows but need to use a regular.exe app instead of a UWP app, you're in the right place. Windows kiosk mode is great, but it only supports UWP apps. So if you want something different, I've got a solution that will help you restrict a user account and keep your app running smoothly. Let's dive into how you can do that. First, we need to create a new restricted user account. Just right-click the Start icon and open Computer Management. From there, go to Local Users and Groups, then Users. Right-click on Users and choose New User. Fill in a username and password, And if you want to skip the password change prompt on the next login, you can uncheck that box. After creating the account, log out of your current account and log into the new one. Now, let's set up a way to keep your app running. We'll use a PowerShell script that checks if your app is running, and if it's not, the script will start it up again. Start by creating a folder, something like C slash keep alive. And inside that folder, create a PowerShell script named keepalive.ps1. You can copy the content of the script from my blog post. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Just replace example app and the file path with your actual app's details. This script will keep checking if your app is running and relaunch it if it's not. Next, we'll convert that PowerShell script into an executable file. Open PowerShell as an administrator, and run the command to set the execution policy to unrestricted. Then you'll need to install a module called ps2exe, which helps us convert the script into an .exe file. Once that's installed, use a command to convert the script to an executable. and then set the execution policy back to restricted for security. This way, you'll have an executable file, keeper.exe, that does the job of keeping your app alive. Now it's time to restrict the user account so that it's locked down and only your app can run. First, log into an admin account and open MMC. Just press WinR, type MMC, and hit Enter. Choose File, then select Add Remove Snap-in. Add the Group Policy Object Editor Snap-in, then click Browse and choose the new restricted user account. We're now going to restrict the user by applying a few group policies. Let's start by disabling the Task Manager. In the left-hand pane, click on Administrative Templates, then expand System. Scroll down and find the option that says Don't Run Specified Windows Applications. Double-click it, select Enabled, and then click on the Show button. In the new window, type taskmgr.exe and press OK. Once that's done, click OK again to save and close. Task Manager is now restricted. Next, let's restrict access to all drives. Still in the Group Policy Editor, navigate to Administrative Templates, but this time go to Windows Components and then File Explorer. Find the option called Prevent Access to Drives from My Computer and double-click it. Set it to Enabled. And then, under the drop-down menu, select Restrict All Drives. Click OK, and you're done with drive restrictions. Now we'll set a custom user interface. Back in the left-hand pane, go to Administrative Templates and expand System again. Look for Custom User Interface and double-click it. Set it to Enabled. And in the box provided, enter the path to the executable we generated from our script, keeper.exe. 
Click OK to save the changes. Your custom UI is now set. Finally, let's restrict app switching. Navigate to Administrative Templates, then Windows Components, and go to Multitasking. Here, find the option called Configure the Inclusion of App Tabs. Double-click it, set it to Enabled, and choose Open Windows Only from the drop-down menu. Click OK, and you're all set. App switching is now limited. You can save the current state of the MMC console so that you can easily edit it later if needed. Finally, test everything out by logging into the restricted account. The app should launch automatically and keep running, even if it's closed. And of course, the user won't be able to access anything else on the system. And there you go. You've just set up a fully custom kiosk-style environment on Windows using a regular .exe app. Whether it's for a public terminal, a training system, or something else, this method gives you full control.